Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness and this is the request this video. I'm gonna do a quick review on the Dr. Martin Adrian and as well as I create three different looks to go with these shoes. So I really like uh, to do the request this video because um, you guys challenged me to do the thing that I never done before, like uh, this Dr. Martin agent. Um, I don't know how it looked at first, and I just saw the comment and I look at the, on the internet. I was like, okay, the agent, huh? And went to the store, get myself a pair, and I think I really like these shoes. Um, before we get into it, I'm gonna talk through uh, three different looks that I create to go with these uh, shoes. So the first look is very basic, it's, it's all black. I am a master of uh, styling black. So um, the top is a muscle fitted silk t-shirt that I got from H&M like two years ago. I wear them to go with uh, one of my also favorite pants. This one is more like a relaxed fit, um, very, very, uh, I think it's pretty wide. Um, for the height 5'3", I still rock it because I'm, I'm not gonna let my height uh, to stop what I'm wearing or being myself, you know. Um, I think the look is pretty cool. Because the look is pretty basic, so I used more accessory on this look. Like when you see the look, it's basic but I complement them with accessory like a hat, sunglasses, a fanny pack, um, also the jewelry. Pretty nice uh, go together to create the complete look on, well, with this pair of Dr. Martin agents. So let's go to the second look. I go with the beanies. Um, if you look at this, it's very basic. Um, the entire look from top to bottom. Um, I complement them with the hat, sunglasses, and in this look is I add extra toe bag. Um, I wear toe bag almost like every time that I actually go to the city because toe bag is very convenient for me. And also like now the store, they don't really provide you bags when you buy stuff in the store. You know, more go like green, you know, like um, they charge you five cent. Um, since I wear toe bag all the time, so it's gonna set me five cent every time I make a purchase. And go with like just a basic white t-shirt from H and M. Um, all these clothes that I wear in the in this video, I'm gonna leave them uh, in the description below. The brands, some of them they are out of stock, but I'm still gonna try my best to find those uh, link um, to share with you guys on the description. And um, go with my top man's uh, denim. Uh, this one uh, is a custom denim. Last time there's a guy asked me uh, where did I get these pants. I basically custom them. I bought a couple pieces of fabric there and here. Just sew them by hand, you know, to create um, just my personal taste on this. And uh, go pretty well with the Asian actually. And go to my third look, also the last look on this video is um, in the summer, I often wear a lot of print, especially on the Hawaiian button up shirt, like short sleeve. Um, I really like um, this print. One of my favorite button up shirt to wear in the summer is this uh, from, I think this is like from Parcival. Um, they're based in London. Um, they make a lot of like really unique print and also their fit measurement is for slim body and for the smaller guy. It looks pretty good on me. Some other brand like size XS is still look big on me, like it's small to me. Um, I really love this uh, pattern, the rooster pattern, uh, one of my favorite and pretty unique. I got a lot of compliment on the, this button shirt. I don't really care about compliment that much because as long as I, make, I am happy what I'm wearing, compliment or not, it don't really matter to me, you know? Depend on the compliment, uh, then that means you are just like, live based on the other people narrative. And you see, I wear sunglasses again. Um, this sunglasses is brand new. I got from Cool Broom. Um, I add up quite a couple pair of sunglasses uh, in my collections too. Next time I'm gonna share with you guys my sunglasses collection, you know. And again, I wear a toe bag. And the pants is go pretty well, like 
with the a button chart because it's almost the same color palette. This look right here, pretty basic. I wear this look a lot when the summer come because I love button shirt Hawaiian uh, style. So this is all three looks that I create. Up next, I'm gonna share with you guys my review on the Dr. Martin Adrian, and then I'm gonna share with you guys how I style them. So this is the close up on the Dr. Martin Adrian. I think to me, this shoes is classic. You know, I just feel like it's the classic Cadillacs to me, like a car. Um, personally, I'm not a fan of the latest uh, shoes, uh, especially footwear in general, because it looked like a car than the shoes to me. It just feel like something missing on the shoes. This shoes worth pricing one thirty dollars. Um, it's pretty decent and affordable price. Um, I really like the material that they use on um this upper of the Adrian um, because it's really tough, heavy duty, just like Dr. Martin's boot that they use. However, though, I'm not a fan of the tassel that they use um, because the rough material, heavy duty material that they use, I just feel like the tassel that doesn't have a sole, you know, it doesn't move. Look at this. It's so hard and so tough. It's not even move, this thing. Um, that's pretty much, and it's actually they are using different material compared to at the upper. I think this is very trashy shoes. Or you can dress up or dress down, but just depend how you style them. Um, personally, I never styled with these shoes before. This is my first time that I ever um, gonna wear these shoes, specifically the style. So I hope I can pull them up. And also the insole, uh, it's pretty comfort actually, because the insole that they use, um, quite thick. So you can feel a little bit comfortable, but over time it's gonna worn out the insole and you will feel just like normal shoes. Also, the reason why is $130 because the construction on this uh, outsole um, is not really, it's inexpensive constructions. You don't really see any stitching on the outsole. Um, the more expensive like dress shoes construction you will see uh, more like a good you welting around this area of the outsole or the welting that is more expensive uh, construction because it's more like time consuming but i get it because this is more like a mass production so they want to make affordable shoes for a lot of people so they have to do this cement construction. This shoes is definitely unisex because I see a lot of men and women on the street they wear this. Uh, if you are styling this properly it look really cool. I see some really bad styling with the Asians. This construction is different. I like it because of the thicker sole. Um, other dress shoes that they do is more like really thin sole. I'm not a fan of the thin thin outsole. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I think it looks so weak. Just my personal taste. Like when I design, I always design like a thicker outsole than thin outsole. But the sizing on this is pretty big. Um, the seller in the store actually helped me to pick the size. I was I was clueless on this uh, sizing on the agent. She gave me the size down. It's actually fit me perfect. And the shape wise. I don't like the shape. Um, the shape would look like a potato to me. I'm not a big fan of the shape. Uh, I would wish it's a little bit uh, slimmer. Yeah, I'm just a picky on the top down view a little bit. So up next, I'm gonna share with you guys how I personally like to style these shoes. And this is gonna be my first time ever that I style with these constructions.
So there you go. This is the, my request this video. Um, you guys asked me to style the Dr. Martin agent and you have it. So um, this is also my first time I style with this uh, Dr. Martin agent. I hope I don't screw it up, you know. I think I did pretty good. And if you like this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys. I'm out.